Hello YouTube channel, Jorge Silvestrini here with a quick tutorial again on Finale 2014. This actually applies to all the finales. Um, we're going to look at how do we put accents, drops, or articulations on our music. So I've got some music here for the trombone and in order for me to put um, accents or drops, I need to go to, to the articulation tool. You'll see it right there articulation tool we're gonna click on that and then simply if we just go and click on the note that we have it's gonna open up the box with all the articulations if you go up and down you'll see them and I've got 76 in here we can create some more but pretty much they're all in here um, short accent accent short cap um, like an accent We've got them pretty much all of them. A shake uh, that could also be a, a, another shake. These are more for violin. Um, the cutoffs, grace note, parentheses, and then if we keep going down, we have some drops, drops and shakes and drops. So let's do some accents here, um, and some things. So if I want, if I just want to add, let's say, uh, a short. I can select it and it will automatically go in there. Let's say that all of these are short. Another way of doing all of them short is articulation tool, click drag, select them all. And then we'll see this other type of box, but it's pretty much the same because it's going to apply to all of the notes. I could tell it which notes to apply it to as well. If I, if they were different, um, I could tell them it also knows to only apply it to the notes that start with a tie or the ones that continue and then if you go in here select you can tell it which one so let's say that we wanted to do this one number three well, we'll select three press ok and then all of them have it see it so that's another way of doing it um let's say that we want to do this one again so articulation tool select put it on and then on this one i want to do a drop so I already did that accent there. I'll click it again and I can go down and select my drop. Once I select the drop, now I can go ahead and move it with arrow keys or just by dragging it from here, I can move it up and down. And there's a drop now. Now this are probably not gonna play when you play back in Finale. I am not too sure if they do play. Let's find out. Let's see if I can get some sound. One more time. Nope, they didn't play. So the articulations are probably not going to play in this case. Um, let's see if I have something that I needed to have. No, not really. Let's see. I. I was under the impression that they should play. Let's see if we get this drop, if it will play with that drop. Again, and this is for playback. Nope, I'm not hearing it playing. So sorry about that. Um, there might be a way of, of them playing articulations. Let's see, play through MIDI. And they, do they play? Nope. Same. So, something to figure out uh, still. Now let's see. Da -da -da -da. Let's think that we want to put... Um, and this is now on a different menu. I just wanted to show it as well. Um, instead of being articulation, I want to put now a slur from here to here. So I'll need to go into this tool, which is the Smart Shape tool. A new menu is going to come out, pop up. And then I'm going to select the first one as the slur. And I'm going to click and drag. Click. Actually, double click. Sorry. Double click and drag. We'll get that little cursor uh, crosshair with a note. And then click and drag where I want it to end. And it's done. Now I create it that okay 
And let's say I wanted to show you one more way. So I'm going to erase that last note. Let's say that I'm writing my note right now and it's going to be a half note again. And let's say it's going to be a G and I write it. If, if you press the start, the asterisk on your keyboard, that is the shortcut for inputting articulations. So in this case, if I know the shortcuts and I press A, I'm going to get an accent. If I press S, and I know I'm doing this double, but if I press S, I'm going to get the, the short in there. So let me show you. If you come in here, double click, you see every articulation has a shortcut. S, A, Z is in zebra, V here for the cap. See them? Every one of them, except this drops. They don't have the, the shortcuts. Shortcuts end it here. Well, we could probably modify the, these. And we could go in there, edit, and probably get a shortcut. Let's see. Nope. Oh, that's fun. Play by effect. We could probably have him do something in there so there is place to work and to have some fun in here okay let's let's check one of these edit I haven't checked this before ah there it is change duration so it worked on that one You can put where they go. Perfect. So most of these can also be edited. Good job. Most of those can also be edited and moved around. So that's how I would do it. That's how I would put um, articulations in here in my parts in Finale. Okay, so articulations. Grab it. Come in here. Place them, double click. If I know the shortcut while I'm inputting the notes, while I'm here, I could use my asterisk and then use the shortcut. And it will give me the articulation, okay? So that's the way I would do it. Uh, any questions, just go ahead and email me at me at jorgesilvestrini.com. And also you can find me on Twitter at jsilvestrini. And we could chat and get to make and create some new music together hope to talk to you very very soon have a great one today keep writing the music suenalo